All right, it's cardio challenge day eight. Every year I start the summer out by doing a 30 day cardio challenge. This year, unfortunately, I broke my femur in April. So my cardio challenge is gonna look a little different personally. I want you guys to join me. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I want you to show me what you're doing. 30 minutes a day of cardio for 30 days starting June 1st. Let's go. Which also just so happens to coincide with Alexander and I's date day. I feel like it's really important for us as a couple to be constantly pursuing each other uh, almost first. So we always try to make it a priority to spend a little time solo together doing something fun or something interesting or even just sitting down and talking. Whatever it is, we try to do a date once a week, especially when I'm home. And then we're also going to do our kid dates where uh, weekly, every week, I'll take one or the other kid and Alexander takes the other one. So today I have Nayeli. We're going to go do something fun after Mount Alexander and I's little mountain bike ride for our date time. So here we go. Cardio challenge day eight. Whew. Mr. David Weiss taught me when he first got me my very own bike. We started really training because we're old enough and I was motivated enough and wasn't such a scary cat anymore and was willing to give it a try again. One of the first things that David taught me when I first started mountain biking again was to not look down at where you're going, but to look up ahead. Because normally when I would fall, would be because I was looking down at the rock that I was about to go on. And it looked really scary, because it was a big, loose rock. But uh, when he taught me how to look ahead of it, you don't focus on it as much. And I thought that was a really powerful life application because so often, I think in my own life, I focus on the rock, the like stumbling block that's in my life right now, instead of looking ahead past it and just letting my tires roll over it and just not letting it affect me or stop me or make me stumble and fall. So I really love that. I share that with all my friends that I'm teaching mountain biking about how to look ahead in your life and not get caught up in the stumbling blocks. So hope that encourages you guys and hope it inspires you to get out and try mountain biking because even if it's scary, it's my favorite thing to do right now. a wrap on day eight 30 day cardio challenge my wife who is joining me on every day of the cardio challenge personally <laughs> on her own personal side yeah. is actually physically joining me today and that was pretty sweet um, we will show you guys how far we went right here and uh, I don't know what are your thoughts I'm really excited this it's a lot harder to go skiing together just because it's David's job and harder to find time to make time to go skiing together so this has really become our hobby together our date activity and I love it so much it's my new passion so. tell me how did it feel to be smoking me up the trail <laughs> today I never <laughs> once in my life thought that I would be David Wise even by like five feet so that was really rare I turned back to tell him something and he wasn't there and I was genuinely shocked Meanwhile, I was like, power left, ouch, power left, ouch, power left, ouch. And she's just creeping away from me. <laughs> it was 
satisfying in a bad way, maybe. Yeah, it's good. No, it's perfect. It's, it means that we're... God just brought me down a level so I can hang with you for a little while. Yeah, and I'm so thankful. Yeah. My angel fell from heaven. Mm -hmm. We're hanging. I want to challenge all you married couples out there. Since this is our day eight, I want to see what you are doing to date each other on your cardio challenge. Get active yeah, together, get fit. Say. This is our eight year of marriage together and I think that doing this kind of active stuff, not just going out for dinners or a movie, like doing this bonding time, getting active, getting fit, doing hard things, doing challenging things, really has brought us together in a really meaningful way. So get out there and date each other. Do more dates. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed what we did for Cardio Challenge Day 8, and I wanna see what you guys are doing. It could be anything. You could dance around in your living room with your kids. You could hop on one foot, whatever you wanna do. I'm actually gonna, as my femur gets a little better in the month, I'm gonna procure one of those badass compressed air fueled pogo sticks. And I'm gonna pogo stick for a half hour straight later this month. You guys can stay tuned for exciting things like that. Catch you later.